The grieving process varies with each individual. However, studies have shown that there are certain characteristics of patterns that people tend to go through that show up at various levels depending on that person's grieving. Characteristics such as certain amount of guilt eventually, or the, the loneliness that comes in because of the void, or the anger that may show up or may not show up, or even the length of time, uh, or even when grieving begins and how do you know when it ends. All of those types of things are, are discussed through my experiences in the book. I even have a timetable listed in the book for you to know when and what to do at what, what stages to help someone that you know who's experienced loss. One of the things that I cover in the book is my, my own experience. And my own experience began with some concept, the misconception that there's something about the grieving process that's wrong. Or there's something about it, maybe even it's, it's sin. And I had to learn through experience and through the counsel from other people that, that my thinking had flaws in it. Uh, the book actually covers how I went through that process and how I recovered from some of those events, rejecting my hurt or the loss process, and therefore even how I responded to others. So yes, if, if you have experienced yourself a, a loss, and perhaps didn't do the best job of grieving, there's suggestions in the book that can help you as well. To understand the condition of someone who has just had a loss of some kind, and that loss will vary, the degree that they experience grief varies depending on a whole bunch of things. Anything from losing a pet, to losing a job, to losing a friend, to losing someone in death. The process of grieving is a real experience and it's not just a mental or even not just an emotional one. Scientists have proven that it is literally a physical condition as well. A person's total being becomes involved with that. Physically, emotionally, mentally, all of that is involved in the grieving process. And I use the word process. Grieving is a process, not an event. Some people viewed it, oh, I cried once. To be addressed as just as much as if you had a oozing sore on your arm. Most people understand that a sore has to be cleaned out for it to heal from, and it has to heal from the inside out. The grieving process is like that. It, it has to happen. And the fa fact that it is an actual condition, you will, it will happen whether you do it now or spread it over your life, or suppress it today and it shows up the next time a major loss happens in your life, even if it's five or ten years later. I've had people actually have that happen with, whenever my second wife died, a friend came to her memorial service and this just broke down. And she was a distant friend, she wasn't close. And she at first couldn't figure out why why am I so broken up here? And it turns out it was because she had not grieved previously another loss. She had stuffed it, and then that grieving came out at this event. I've got several illustrations that way. So the gr grieving is a process. It is real. It's something every human will experience in some way or another is the way you deal with it. And so for us to help someone who is, gr who is grieving, it's very, very beneficial to understand that it's real possibilities on how you might be able to help that person work through that process and be a good friend to them at the time. 80 to 90 percent of the books that are in print are people telling their story and are written to help people who are grieving. Why should I write mine when there's all these hundreds of thousands of them out there? My point of distinction for this book is I'm helping the supporters. I'm teaching everybody else how to help the, grie the grievers. That's what makes my book different.